Hey friends, I hope you're having a super awesome time at home with your parents. Guess what this weekend is? Urgent news. If you don't already know, I'm going to tell you. Sunday is Mother's Day. So this is super important. If your mom is in the room right now, send her out because we're going to work on a super easy Mother's Day craft, okay? She can help you get this stuff ready, but she cannot be in the room while you're doing this craft. So get dad. Get somebody else to help you if you need help. Mom cannot know. Super top secret business going on here, okay? All right, so you're going to need construction paper, just one piece of construction paper, your mom's favorite color, pink, red, purple, whatever her favorite color is, scissors, and crayons or markers or colored pencils, whatever coloring utensil you use at home, okay? Super easy, that's the only three items that you need, okay? So, first step, take your construction paper, fold it in half, boom, done, okay? Then, what you're going to do on the folded edge, you are going to trace your hand so that your hand, my hand is kind of huge, so it's, it's not gonna fit as well as yours, your hand is going to be traced right up against the side that's folded. So not the side that opens, not the side that opens, the side that has the crease in it, the fold in it, okay? So you're going to trace your hand so that your thumb and your pointer finger are like this on your paper, okay? It's going to make a half a heart. So guess what it's gonna make once we cut it out when we open up the folded paper? It's going to make a heart with your hand. It's gonna be so cute, okay? All right, so take a minute, trace your hand, make sure your, pink, your finger and your thumb are right up next to the folded line, okay? There we go, mine's already traced. Let's see if I can get a better view of this, okay. So see how my thumb and my finger are right up on that line. If, you, if it goes over, that's okay too because we don't want it to be too thin where we cut, okay? So next step, we're going to cut it out. Make sure you don't cut off. So you're gonna keep the paper folded. Make sure you don't cut off the finger and thumb right there because we need it to stay attached, okay? So go ahead and cut your hand out after you have it traced. And I know you guys don't need help cutting your hands out because we've done this at school. On the very first day of school, you knew how to cut your hand out. So you're not gonna need help with this. Might take you a minute, especially me with my gigantic hand. It's gonna take some time. Cut, cut, cut. I feel like we need some music playing or something. If we were in the classroom, we would, could just ask Alexa to play us some nice music. Scissors are getting caught on my paper. Cut, cut. I wonder if my mom would like my gigantic handprint. <laughs> okay, so here's my hand. You'll see how my thumb and my finger, they look a little different because I didn't cut them rounded. If you cut them rounded, it's going to um, mess up the craft because then it, the fold will be cut off. So don't cut that fold. Make sure you still have that little extra like that. So then when we open it up, dun, 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 it's a heart. Isn't it so cute? Okay, so now we have our heart shape. Now we are going to get out our crayons or colored pencils, whatever you have. 
and we're going to write a little message to mom. Let's see, what color do I want? I have so many colors to choose from with 64 crayons. All right, I think I'm gonna choose red because it'll show up nicely on my pink. Okay, so here we have our hands. On this hand over here, we're going to write the word I. You guys know how to spell I, right? Make sure it's capital. So we're gonna put a capital I. Okay. And then we have heart, the heart's in the middle. The heart means love, right? So what do you think we're going to write on the other hand? You can write, I love mom, or you can write, I love you, since you're giving it to mom. I'm gonna write, I love you, because I think that just makes more sense, right? And then I'm putting an exclamation point because I want my mom to know that I really, really, really love her. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like. So it says, I love you, okay? And then you're going to fold it, fold it back up so that that part is on the inside. So then it's gonna look like this and it's gonna be like a card. So when you open it, that's where it says, I love you. So on the outside, on the front of the card, you can write to mom. Okay, so on the front, you can write to mom and then turn it, flip it all the way over. Okay, so we've got two mom, we open it up, it says, I love you, and then on the back, you're gonna write who it's from. So whoever you are, so we're gonna write from, or you can write love, that might be better, but I already wrote from, so from, and then your name. And then we can write on one of the fingers, we can write 2020, 2020, so that she knows what year you made this. Okay, so I wrote from Tiffany, or you can write love, your name. And then on one of the fingers, you can write 2020 so that she knows which year you made this. Okay, super duper easy, right? So your card should look like this, to mom. Open it up, I love you, close it up, from or love, and then your name, and then the date, okay? Awesome, your mom's gonna be so surprised. And you guys can do this, I know you can. You can do it all by yourself. Your mom is gonna be super impressed. She's gonna be so excited when she gets this card on Mother's Day, okay? Keep it a surprise until Sunday. She's gonna love it, she might even cry. And if she cries, that's okay. Sometimes that's our goal on Mother's Day is to make her cry because she feels special. Make sure you give your moms lots and lots of hugs, lots of love. She needs it this Mother's Day, okay? I miss you guys. Bye.